We're here in the colourful city of Buenos Aires, Argentina, and we have 48 hours to explore. This place is beautiful. Hi, we're Mike and Steph. Last year we quit our jobs to travel the world. We visited Mexico, Guatemala, the US, Thailand, Sri Lanka. We've been so lucky to experience different cultures, landscapes, and of course food from all over the world. Now it's time to visit a brand new country. We're off to Argentina. Good morning. So we are having breakfast in a beautiful cafe on the side of the road. We've got a huge day ahead of us, lots of sightseeing. We're gonna eat our little jamón y queso and then hop on a bus. Um, we did some research. It's gonna take a really long time, but it's only 22 pesos, which is like 15p, <laughs> roughly. So, breakfast and bus. the bus stop I had to ask these lovely uh, bin men <laughs> I want to do and then we start talking about what Juan Romano Riquelme we're speaking for the language of football we found the bus well the bus stop there is no bus here 15 minutes later okay so we've been standing here for about 10 15 minutes and I now I went onto the other side of the bus stop sign and it says that it's temporary closed. So now we're trying to find That's so far where the away. other place is. Where That's is so it? So far away. Should we get a taxi? No. No, we're trying to be bus people. Luckily this lovely lady has corrected us somewhere to go. As you saw we just a lot lost a bunch of tourists on Google Maps, but failing. So to the bus. Now. Wait, it's stopping there. No, it's turning. We're really bad at this whole public transport saving money thing. <laughs> so now we just wait and then we got the bus. So I think you need to have a specific card <laughs> to scan, which we don't have. The guy was just like, get on. So this is budget traveling because it's free, baby. <laughs> So an hour later, we've actually nailed that bus eventually. Now, just walking on to the famous La Boca district of Buenos Aires, which is one of the most colorful, beautiful areas. Very excited to see and meet our tour guide. El Camanito and La Boca, and we're gonna go meet our tour guide now. Hola, mi amo, el guía Miguel. <laughs> this hair is so long, it's so ridiculous. This hair never comes out, so you're welcome. We are in El Caminito, which means the little path, so have a look up and down. Literally a small little path that runs through that's very famous for being very picturesque with these colourful buildings and, um, and houses etc. So we're actually right next to a port which is just over there. So loads of old ships used to come through here, hence why we've got all these amazing coloured pieces of metal that people have used to build their houses and structures. So yeah, in the Boca, it's very famous for being in the ports, but very importantly for me and loads of people, Boca Juniors, the famous football team, and let's go to the club shop and buy some merch. Okay, I think we need to go back to Michael with the hair up. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed Miguel. Goodbye. <laughs> There are really cute market stalls everywhere here, it's starting to get busier and more bustling. Okay, 
Okay, so that is us finished with El Caminito and that kind of main La Boca neighborhood. So beautiful, so colorful, those houses at the end. And now we're coming up to La Bombanera, the famous stadium of Boca Juniors. It's been my dream for a long time actually to come here to La Bombonera, um, very famous home ground of Boca Juniors, typically where the Super Classico is played, that is Boca Juniors versus River Plate, probably the biggest football match in the entire world in terms of atmosphere. So unfortunately we can't go to the stadium because of Covid and there's no match on whilst we're here. Me and loads of my friends have said that one day we have to come here to see a Super Classico. But now we're back in the taxi and we're going to find some lunch. <laughs> Incredible lunch at San Telmo Market. Definitely recommend Mercado de San Telmo. Um, so many fun stalls, food stalls, everything that you would want. Uh, and now we're going to walk somewhere. Not sure where. Where are we walking? You're going the wrong way. <laughs> we're going the wrong way. <laughs> Okay, we have actually made it to where we were trying to go to, so we're at Plaza de Mayo in front of the Casa Rosada, which is the home of the Argentinian government. And that also where the famous Eva Perón speech from the balcony was. I've watched Evita about 15 years ago and that's pretty much all I know about her. That's all that's informed this tour. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. We should, I should know more. We will know more. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Ring check. <laughs> Ring check. Ring check. See. Yeah, very sunny. Still much of the sky. On the other side of the Casa Rosada, as I said, we're the Plaza del Mayo. A little bit of fun Argentinian history for you. Buenos Aires. So. It actually started off under Spanish rule, was founded, and it was called the Ciudad de Señora Santa Maria del Buen Aire. So close. <gasps> the Ciudad de Nuestra Señora Casa Santa Maria del Buen Aire. But the reason why this place is special, so in May of 1810, uh, in May of 1810, Argentina liberated itself in the revolution from Spanish rule. So that's why May, Plaza del Mayo, is celebrated here. So now we're gonna walk up the Avenida del Mayo and enjoy the lovely sights. <laughs> oh, dive bombed by, by a pigeon <laughs> and almost died. <laughs> See why they call it the Paris of the South. <laughs> all this cafe in all of Buenos Aires started in 1858. Should we go in? No. So full. <laughs> El Palacio Barolo tallest building in South America until 1935. To finish off our little tour of Buenos Aires, we are absolutely exhausted. Yeah, li little tour. It's, it is nearly five o'clock, so it's been all day. <laughs> AKA bedtime. Monolith, the kilometer zero monolith, basically, all the highways, all the kilometers on the highways are from this place. That's very cool. Kind of cool. Not that interesting, actually. The National Congress. El Congreso Nacional. Quite an imposing, striking building. And 
Now we're gonna go and have a rest because we have some very special plans later, which we're very excited to show you. Like, if you come to Buenos Aires, you have to go to a tango show. So we booked this one. It's a really small, little, intimate show. Um, and we've got, well, you've got a starter. I've got a dessert. We've got wine flowing, free flowing. Um, and it's beautiful. <laughs> so with the tickets we bought, we had a, it came with starter or dessert plus drinks. I think unlimited drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Um, so Michael has gone for a starter of antipasti kind of sausage job, and I went for a fruit salad. <laughs> a really funny little cup of fruit. We will briefly admit that we've completely screwed up our plans tonight. We had big plans for a beautiful dinner in Soho, where where our hotel is, which are very cool restaurants. We ran out of time, so we've had bread rolls. And now this. <laughs> Kadandi. We definitely recommend it because it's so small, really intimate venue, lots of free drinks. Yeah. <laughs> well this this draws our Buenos Aires adventure to an end. Well first things first, we have to somehow get back to our hotel which is not near here. We don't know if the metro is running this late, if not then it could be quite an expensive taxi for us. <laughs> So that is a, an entrance to a, a metro station. That does not bode well for a successful journey home. Um, we'll probably spare you the adventures of trying to get a taxi in a very empty Buenos Aires um, at midnight. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it there. So, number one. Bloody love Buenos Aires. Yep. Number two, not long enough here. 48 hours, 100% not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Number three, we loved the stuff that we saw today, especially the La Boca neighborhood, incredible. Number four, we bloody loved the steak we had last night. <laughs> so we're very excited for what's to come in terms of Argentinian cuisine. And then finally, number five, if anyone's coming to Buenos Aires, stay in the Palermo Soho neighborhood because that is definitely we ha we've covered quite a lot of kind of the main bit of Buenos Aires and that neighborhood is incredible especially in terms of restaurants and bars and cafes oh I wish we had like a week more to try out yeah. loads of those places it's one of the nicest like big city areas I've ever seen yeah amazing yeah definitely well exciting plans next tomorrow we're going on a flight up to Iguazu Whee! See you in the next one. Maybe. We may not be alive. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I really don't think we're going to 